But people have been sending me tier lists to make on Twitter. I had asked for a better beer tier list because the ones that they had on this site were dog shit. Um, and so somebody made me one that is less dog shit, but still not incredible, still missing a lot. I mean, if you were making a beer tier list, knowing that you were sending it to Digibro, why would you not put Takati on your list? You know that I have a weird soft spot for Takati that no one understands. Wouldn't you have loved to see me piss off every beer fan in the world and put it in S tier? <laughs> I probably couldn't even bring myself to do that, honestly. Um, it's definitely not S tier. No, it definitely is not <laughs> S tier. But I don't think anything in this list is. Like, just giving it a glance over, I don't see anything that I can see putting in the S tier. So these all appear to be, like, you know, non-craft beers. No, they're all common... Although, like, we've got Dragon's Milk, which is kind of a craft I, beer. I don't think it's a craft. I think it's just an import, right? I don't know. I don't know what the difference I don't know what, Look like, it up. what is considered to be craft beer. Because I don't... Beer. Do you see anything else that would be... I mean, I mean, there's some stuff that's, like, more... Se- like, Arrogant Bastard or Dragon's Milk are, like, things that, you know, are, are a little bit more respectable, I guess, than other stuff in this list. I don't really know what constitutes a craft beer. I'm just wondering, like, where's all the, where's all the Belgians, you know? Like, where's, at the very least, like, Pliny the Elder, like, a famous, memetically highly rated beer? Like, where's some Three Philosophers? Well, this is stuff that if you go to Applebee's, you can probably get. I don't know if you can get Sing Tao or fucking well, Yanjing beer at you know, fucking Applebee's. If you go to uh, any Thai restaurant, you can probably get it. <laughs> I've seen most of these beers. We have Sing Tao, but no Sapporo. Like I thought there was Sapporo. Sapporo's on there. Oh, okay, never mind. I was looking in the wrong place. They have San Miguel, but no Red Horse. Not that Red Horse is easy to come by in America, but whatever we're gonna go I think with what this we is got. a fine list to start with it's it's good it's enough fine. i guess all right angry orchard meh i give it a b maybe well i don't know what are we establishing as like because he, he wrote it as letters i per, i tend to prefer if it's if we consider it to be god tier top tier high tier mid tier low tier shit tier um so i'm gonna put angry orchard at a c by that lodge I, well i guess I guess this makes sense as well. If you're thinking of it in terms of school grades, I would give it a C. Um, S is, I guess, I'm an A plus plus. Not something. really that into Angry Orchard. I'd probably put it in the D category. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's like, fine as a cider. I think there's just better ciders out there, and like, mm. if that's my only option for a cider, I'm probably never gonna never gonna go for it. Like, if somebody hands one to me, I probably like would make fun of them for having Angry Orchard. Wow. I used to drink the hell out of Angry Orchard. I gotta turn our volume up. I think it's a little too sweet, a little too, tastes a little too confectionery for me. I like, you know, yeah. a, a you more You don't like crisp. sugary drinks. I, I do like ciders if they have, like, more of, like, a full, richer kind of flavor, right. but Angry Orchard just kind of tastes like, like, I don't know. All right, well. I'd rather drink apple juice and fucking put some had, brandy in it. <laughs> have you ever had Arrogant Bastard Ale? Yes, I've had Arrogant Bastard. What do you think of that? I would I would probably give it a C as well. I don't particularly have strong feelings about it. It was like the first beer I ever mm-hmm. had. Um, I, yeah, I'd probably give it a C. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to, to have it again. It wasn't my favorite, but, like, it was fine. Um, dry Asahi. I don't care for Asahi. I think it's kind of shit. Uh, if like anywhere that Asahi would be available, um, Sapporo would also be available, and I would never choose Asahi. I put it in D tier. I've never had. Not great. Uh, Ballast Point. Ooh, I don't know if I've had whatever Sculpin. Like I know I've seen Ballast Point Brewery, but I don't know if I've had the Sculpin beer. I might have to put that in never tried. I'm I don't, not sure about I don't it. know. I, I like some of their variants, but I don't think I've had that one. Yeah. Um, do you know what Bex is? I don't think I've ever had a no. Bex. I don't know where this comes from. Uh, Blue Moon. I'd give it a, an A or a B. I think it's fair to give it an A. I get it. If if there's not something that I want to try, Blue, Blue Moon's kind Blue of like Moon my fallback. Blue Moon is pretty much our go-to if, like, if it's on tap. 
Mm-hmm. It's like it's probably the best beer on tap. You gotta make sure you have orange with it. It's yeah, a pretty heavenly peel. combo. Um, it's you know you've you've always considered it your favorite beer. Yeah, my favorite. You know, my favorite beer. If I just like get it's, like a twelve pack. Blue Moon is to you what Takati is to me. Yeah, it's that if you're going to like a regular store, not a craft beer store, and like you're looking at the options, which consist of the stuff in this list, then you're gonna be like, oh yeah, Blue Moon, or oh yeah, Takati. Like I'll, I'll take that over anything else in this fucking list. Should I give it an S tier? Because I don't think there's anything that I would... I think we should just leave the S tier untouched as a sign that you could do a better maybe, beer maybe chart. We'll, maybe we'll find something, you know. Because um, I'm comparing all these right. to all beer, not just what's in this chart. I'm kind of tweaking at the next one. Lime I Marita. fucking hate lime Maritas. I hate strawberries. They're fucking awful. Um, Get fucking a sense of taste, please. I mean, we can pretty much just throw Is that all... Bud Light Lime? Yeah. Okay, Bud Light Lime I used to drink a lot in college because they yeah. had, like, the tall boy in the can, and they were cheap as fuck, and I liked it a hell of a lot more than Lime Arita, let me tell you, and they're kind of they're kind of easy to, to throw back. Like, if you're at a frat party... I hate lime flavor. ...and you want to drink, like, three fucking giant beers, Lime Arita might be your go. I do not like lime as a flavoring for things. No, and I, I don't think that it's a particularly good beer, but it's easy to drink a lot of. Well, so what are you ranking it? I would probably give it a C. You give it a C? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to put it there purely for you in the same way that well, I put, put Angry it, Orchard there for put me. Put it in a D. No, it's, if you don't it's, like it's, it. I don't, I've never tried Cause, it because like, I, I don't like lime. I know it's trash, but like... I think it's really easy to drink. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about regular Bud Light? I would give it a D. It's not as bad as a lime or I would probably give it a C because, like, for light beers, it's probably just like it's acceptable. Uh, no, because there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna put in C that's better than Bud Light. That that are light beers. <sighs> yeah, like Rolling Rock or fucking. Is Rolling Rock's in a light beer? Oh, I think of light as in like a like a light tasting beer. No, um, a light beer means that it's like a diet soda. Calorie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't have any value on that personally, but um, I don't know. I think Bud Light well, but is there's fine. The, but what about um, no? Because if it was C tier, it would be Bud Light Platinum, which is better than Bud Light. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so, all right, let's go with that. Yeah, um, I've never had Bud Light Orange. Yeah. Have you? No. All right, we'll put it in. Never tried. Uh, regular Budweiser. This is my first beer. Um, it's. I mean, my first was Bud... Well, it wasn't my first, but I, I trained myself to drink with Bud Lights because I had a fridge full of them, and I think they're pretty bad, but... I would give Budweiser a D. I would yeah, never get this... F. <laughs> I would never get this out, but, like, I... You know, it's beer. When I think of beer, like, Budweiser is, like... Well, that's what their marketing has done. Yeah, I know. Like, that's why... It's just the of taste it of it is, like, this is... This is beer. This is um, bad beer. I don't think I've ever had Bush. Oh, I don't like Bush. Well, I would yeah. probably also give it a D. All right. Uh, Cast Fresh. Never heard of this. No, I've never heard of it. So Cult it seems 45. like we've got some stuff that's like, like I'm sure some of this is like West Coast shit, you know? And they probably don't have like three philosophers down there or like some of the shit I like from the East Coast, you know? Because like... Beer tends to be fairly coastal. Like that, I think that's why I had never seen Pliny the Elder because I'm pretty sure it comes from California. And people were like, "Who oh, have you never heard of it?" And I'm like, "I live in the East Coast. It's not <laughs> at any of the stores. Like, can't go to even a craft beer store and just find that shit." Um, Cult Forty Five. Oh boy, Cult Forty Five. I would give it ooh, definitely a D because it tastes it's like not shit. Good. <laughs> um, that's kind of the point, though. Well, it's, you know, it's a lot of beer for a little bit, and it'll get you fucked up because it's malt liquor, and um, you you can also mix it with lemonade, I mean, uh, orange juice, and make a brass monkey, which is a disgusting drink, so uh, there's nothing good about it. <laughs> My friends used to drink the hell out of it, though. Uh, Coors, Coors Banquet? Never heard of Coors Banquet? Or is that just what a Coors is? That's just a regular Coors. Oh, um, have you ever had a Coors? I don't think I've even had it. I don't even think I've tried to fuck with Coors. Yeah, I've had Coors. Um, I I think I'd like it more than Bud Light. I think I would give it a C. Okay. It's fine. What about Coors Light? <sighs> Coors Light. I've also drinking a lot of Coors Light. 
That was, like, one of my friend's, like, favorite beers. I am not into light beers, so I'd probably put it in the D category. All right. Um, oh, and by the way, like, while I do despise the lime Ritas, if strawberries were on here, I would oh, put it in D. Oh, fuck you, you nasty motherfucker. Because that was all me and my friends drank when we first got into drinking, because it was more tolerable than beer, supposedly. Uh, it's not. I feel no, sick not. if I but that's if the I thing, drink like, those. All my friends are, were, when I was, you know, coming of age into an age where you would drink, none of my friends liked beer at all. Like, they just, except for Brandon Tolentino, who would just drink Rolling Rock all the time. But, like, none of my friends liked mm-hmm. beer, and especially because, like, some of them were bigger guys who just would take too much beer to get drunk. So, like, we would get the strawberries because it's, like, 8% alcohol, and it, you know, tastes kind of like a strawberry, I guess. So people would just fucking throw no, them back, No, I had the know? same thing going out of my friends because I'm, you know, I'm a girl, and most of my friends who did drink didn't want like, to drink a lot of beer. You're a girl, and all my friends are pussy. Um, we, <laughs> so, like, normally I drink, like, a lot of vodka mixed drinks and stuff, but uh, I had one friend who would only drink strawberries. and she, like, would bring over to our room to pregame, and I fucking drank, like, four of them, and did not feel right like <laughs> they were nasty it felt like i was just drinking like like a pixie stick with like vodka in it <laughs> even though that's literally what you would drink <laughs> i drink that over it you drink you literally will drink like she used to take the uh the powder that you make pink lemonade with and just mix vodka and pink lemonade powder as and, like, like a little little drink. splash of tap water <laughs> yeah. but yeah uh, so I've never seen this fresh squeezed IPA before. Don't recognize it. Have you? Do you recognize it? No. It, right. It's because I like beer more than liquor. Yeah. So like my beer I mean, me experience, too. I, like I want beer. to be. Like... That's why this list is so disappointing to me because there's so few beers that I like on it. Like it's mostly gross, shitty, fucking bottom barrel beer that you fucking pick up at Food Lion. You know. Uh, Dogfish head. I I like it. I think, uh, yeah, it's I'd it's give one it a, the, a B. I, I think maybe a C. A C? Because, like, I would get it if I saw it on tap. I haven't had it many times, but I would not get it. I mean, you would get Blue Moon if you were at a tap. Sometimes like, they don't have Blue Moon. Where, well, they, if I've they don't have Blue Moon, they, they might have, have Allagash dogfish. White. Where the fuck is Allagash on Allagash this list? is great. Allagash would probably go in, like, S tier. I, I love Allagash. Allagash is great. Where? What about, um... Uh, shock top I'd get shock over dogfish head. Here. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm just saying that's another thing that's on tap a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, shock top I would put in B. I don't know if I'd put dogfish head on the same level as shock top, well, but I haven't had it much, so. I like it fine. I like it just as much as shock top, IMO. All right, well, I'll put it in B then, because I, I, I'm not as still suckies. Those suckies I would put in C. I think it's a little gross. It's not um, my, my favorite. It's fine. I, I was into it when I first... When I, when I first started, like, experimenting with beer and, like, trying to find my favorite, that was the first one that I was like, oh, this might be my favorite one. And then I, like, you know, found something better yeah. pretty quickly. And... My brother and dad are into Del Sucky's. One time we were at a hotel. It's the marketing. They and have we really got, good marketing. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's you know, it's a manly man's beer. They got, like, a giant, That's like, how they want you to, taste it's, of it. Nothing about the taste of it no, is a manly man's no, beer at it's all. it's not. But, like, that's what they think it is. Yeah. But uh, I remember just, like, having to drink a lot of them because we didn't want to leave any in the hotel and just being like, this wasn't the beer to do that with. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Dragon's Milk, I would say, is A tier. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I like I've it. I've only had it once. It's extremely alcoholic. It's got a milky taste. It's a, it's a darker beer, but, like, one with a nice aftertaste. Not enough for me to put it in S tier, but I do think it's pretty good. It's a little expensive, though, which is why we don't get it very much. Um this looks like a New Belgium Citradelic. I don't recognize Citradelic. Don't think no, I've heard of it. I don't think I've had that one either. Uh, but Fat, Fat Tire, Tire I've had. I might put this in B. Yeah, me too. It's, it's a fine uh, go-to. It's pretty good. It's not as good as Blue Moon, but... No. Um, Foster's. Foster's is disgusting. I've That's never had definitely Foster's. definitely F-tier. Uh, Cider used to tell me that uh, the Australian beers they send to America are the ones that are too shitty for Australia. <laughs> I believe it. Foster's. Well, Foster's comes in a gigantic can, and it's like, you're like, oh, wow, that's a lot for a little, you know? And then you drink it, and you're like, okay, I completely understand why, because it's it's dog shit. Um, The Founders All Day IPA, I don't think I've ever had this. No. I know the uh, the brand, but not the specific beer. Goose Island. 
Can't say I remember Goose Island. I think I've, I've seen, seen it. it around. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think I've, had I've ever it. tried it. Nope. Not into uh, Guinness. Guinness sucks. I would put it at D tier. Where is the Genesee Cream Al, guys? Because they're not from the fuck. Well, they've got Labatt Blue, so they do know some northern shit. Well, um, uh, Genesee is from Rochester. Yeah, it's a, I don't. I don't like it, but it's from Rochester. Gumball Head. Never heard of Gumball Head. Never seen this logo before. Um, Heineken sucks. Might even be F tier. I think it's pretty disgusting. Do you like it? Do you like it less than Guinness? Heineken. I'm not sure because I kind of get the two confused a lot. Heineken's in the green bottle. Guinness is in the black bottle. I would get a Heineken over a Guinness. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'm thinking of Guinness as the worst one because I'm thinking about the Heineken bottle. I think they're both disgusting. I'm I would put, put both in F. I'd put Heineken and D and Guinness in an F. <laughs> the disgusting beers. Uh, Henry's hard soda. I don't think I've ever had. I've had it. Uh, it's fine. I think it's a better choice than Angry Orchard. Um, if you... Well, you would put Angry Orchard in D anyway. Yeah, so... I'd probably put it in, like, a high D or a low C. Which one would you rather? Uh, I don't know. You could put it wherever. I would put it in D, then. Um, height? Extra cold? Never heard of this before. Have you heard of this? No. Uh, it might be, like, partial logo. It might be, like... I, I don't know. It looks like it just says height. Maybe it's, like, white. Um... Snipe. A keystone light. Oh, F. 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 <laughs> F. 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 <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Absolutely triggered. I fucking hate keystone. Um, it is piss. And light is just like watered down piss. Uh, King Cobra. Never heard of it. You heard of it? No. King Fisher. Never heard of it. You heard of it? I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever had it. Mm. Uh, Kirin Ichiban, I feel the same way about this as I do about Asahi, just not a great beer from, uh, from Japan. I actually think I might have confused Asahi with it earlier when I was ranking. It's possible Asahi might be C tier, um, cause in my mind it just kind of bleeds together, but I definitely know I don't like Kirin Ichiban, so I'm gonna put that in D. Labat Blue, this is your, your boy, your Canada yeah. beer. I, uh, I like Labat Blue. I would personally put it... I think I'd put it in C tier. Personally. I'd probably put it in B tier because yeah. yeah. Would you drink for, it over for a, a fat cheap tire? beer? Well, I mean, it's the price. That's why. Because the bat blue is kind of. I don't of really like, care about the price when it comes to beer because it's not that big of a gradient. No, I know, but like, like you I'm know, just thinking about taste. if I want something in like a lower price range, if I want a whole lot of beer for a little bit of a little bit of money, I'd probably pick the bat blue. Would you pick it over, like? trying to think of what else well i guess i would i would agree to pick it over rolling rock yeah i guess it could be in yeah B, cause i'd say that's that my my probably my go-to uh here. lagunitas iba i think i've had but i don't remember. i like i like what, i'd also put it in it? b all right uh what is this lane and hugels lane and hugels lane and hugels i noticed that they don't have any land shark in here that's a common on tap beer. It's called Lane and Hugel's Summer Shandy. I've never heard of it. I don't like summer beers, and neither do you. I <laughs> know. Uh, um, Michelob Ultra. Gross. F or D? D. All right. Uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade. I like Mike's Hard Lemonade. Thank I you very much. I think Mike's Hard is better than a, Angry Orchard. I would <laughs> put it at a B. I will definitely drink it anytime it's oh, available. Boy. Um, <laughs> I would probably put it in, oh, in C, but... Miller High Life is actually okay um, as far as super cheap beers go. I'm not going to put it all the way up in B like Labatt Blue, but this was my go-to cheap-ass beer for a long time. Slap it um, in C. Yeah, I'll slap it in C. They call it the champagne of beers, which is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Miller Light, I have I think I tried one time um, at at BronyCon. Me and Ben both chugged a beer, um, 
and I think it was Miller Lite. Like, I think he had got a pack of Miller Lite. Oh, but, like, fuck. it was super foamy. Is when you turn and 30 so both of us started when vomiting you start up drinking light beer. Ben was not 30 yet at this time. Yeah, but I mean, like, I feel like the time is coming. Because, like, if I want to have... Ben just drinks light everything because he thinks he, he wants to watch his weight but still consume disgusting <laughs> shit. That's what it is. It's like if you want to... If you want to be able to constantly drink energy drinks and beer, but you don't want to think it's going to make you fat, then you drink nothing but light and low calorie. And you also don't want to be on a diet in any way. Which, it works. I mean, it's why Ben's not hideously I, fat. I can't stand light beer. If I, like, you know, I just, like, leave time out of the day yeah. where, I, you know, beer is fine for me to drink, but I can't stand light beer. Yeah, I'm going to put this I in would the... rather just not drink. Uh... Milwaukee's best ice. I've never seen this before. Maybe this guy's from I've the seen north this. or like, I've like the, seen the, it the, at the the northern, um, you know, the northwest as opposed to the northeast. I don't know. I've seen this beer around. It's definitely like a lower end beer. Have you I've had never it? had it. No. Oh, all right. Well, uh, Modelo Chalanda F tier. Disgusting <laughs> yeah. shit. It's literally Modelo mixed with Clamato. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> uh, but Modelo Negra is pretty good. I think I would put that... That might go in B tier. It's probably the best form of Modelo. Yeah, um, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Natty, Natty Ice. Ice. Uh, uh, D. Yeah. Not, it's better not than maybe. Keystone. Natural Light <laughs> Natter Days. I've never heard of this. Wait, that was just Natty Ice. This one's Natural Light. Yeah, it's this the one's light natural version. light natter days. I've never had natter days or natural light. Have you? No. All right. Where's the natty daddies? New Glarus spotted cow. I have not had it. I see. Okay. Uh, Newcastle brown ale. I've heard of this, but I have. Or is it new? Yeah, Newcastle brown ale. You ever never had it? Had. Me neither. Uh, Old English eight hundred. I think this is a uh, a malt liquor, right? I think you're right. I've seen it around. I think yeah, I've had this one. Is I it mean, good? it's a malt liquor, so no. Yeah. It's definitely the better than Cult 45, though. They're, they're all exactly the same. Like, there's no difference. Uh, Pab's Blue Ribbon. I would I, give PBRC. I think it deserves a D. <laughs> I think it's pretty disgusting. I like PBR. I think it's okay. I'm going to put Rolling Rock in the C tier, and I don't I like think PBR I would ever more drink Pabst than Rolling over... Rock. Really? Yeah. <sighs> I think Pabst is disgusting. I I'll, think you're disgusting. I'll put it in C tier just for you. No, you don't have to. All right, well then, fuck you. Uh, I Pacifico drink a lot of PBR Clara. in college. I've never seen this one before. That's probably my go-to beer in college. Have you seen this one before? Uh, I have seen it. I don't think I've ever had it, though. Well, all right. Uh, Red Stripe, I like Red Stripe. I might put it in B or C. Uh, it's one of my favorite, it's like one of my go-to common beers. Um, do you have an opinion on Red Stripe? Do I'd rather I like it? it. I'd probably put it in B. Alright, it's going B. to be, oops, B then. Uh, Red's Apple Ale is disgusting. Oh, gross, yeah. Like, if you thought Angry Orchard was bad, Red's is undrinkable. <laughs> um, I would give that an F. Yeah. Rolling Rock, I would give a C. I like it as a cheap, big pack of beer. Um, I would just swap PBR and Rolling Rock. I just think that Rolling Rock, the biggest problem with it is that, well, with with a lot of these, is that they are so non-alcoholic that it does nothing for me. Mm -hmm. Like, any beer that's, like, under 5%, I'm going to have to drink, like, five of those if I want to be buzzed by the end of the night. And I don't have the stomach capacity for that. Like, I can't back a bunch of beers. I tend to favor stronger beers because I can't... Man, my the stomach older is tiny. that I've gotten, the harder it's been to do that. Yeah, to drink heavier beers? To just drink, like, a lot of those beers. Like, oh, a lot of the small ones. Yeah, yeah like, no, it's, it's not easy. I could probably do, like, five or six in college and be fine, but, like, now it's, like three and no more <laughs> i mean i've never been able to you know how small my fucking bladder is like yeah i literally can't pit like i will be pissing every five seconds and not enough to drink more of the beers like i can't maintain a buzz at the rate i can drink if it's a smaller uh or if it's a lesser beer sam, uh, adams. sam adams which one is that it's just the regular, regular boston lager. lager which is 
it's fine. I like Sam I Adams. We went to the even. Sam Adams factory, and it was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But there are better versions. The Winter Lager. Yeah. I mean, Winter Lager, I'd probably give an A. And yeah. they definitely have ones I like less than the Boston Lager. The so. Summer Ale. Not yeah, Summer too. Ale is not good. But, uh... Um, I like San Miguel, it. I like. I would probably give it a B. It's on the same level as like Red Stripe. It's a good, just general beer. Um, they also make Red Horse, which I like a lot. Uh, Sapporo, also a B. Another good, regular, just general I beer. I wouldn't even put Sapporo in an A. Sapporo. It goes well with like food. The only good, the only way that Sapporo is good is if you get it in that big ass can. Yeah. If you get it in like a regular bottle, it is not the same. I don't know why. I don't know what alchemy is going on in that drink. It just tastes better. But like, Sapporo in a bottle middle. is not even like worth it. Um, you got to get it in the big fucking can, big metal can. Uh, Shock Top. I also think I'd give a B. Another one that if it's on tap, if if there's no blue moon, shock top is a good second shock choice. Shock top is great. I yeah. know a lot of people don't like it, but I I don't really know why. Um, Smirnoff Ice is less good than Mike's Hard, so I'll give it a C. I'd give that shit a D. Yeah, you don't like Smir. Well, no. not even like the flavored ones. No. Oh, well. I, I like any kind of fruity flavored drink. I'll probably drink. You will it. see that I do like fruity flavored drinks, but like I often like to put like a fruity hint. Like I like shock top with like the flavors, and I like orange right. in my blue moon. But there's one of these on here that you'll see. You'll uh, see how there. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stella, Stella used to be like one of my go-to like on tap beers, but like it's more expensive than it's worth. Yeah, I like agree. I don't think it's as good as Blue Moon. I think it might be on par with Shock Top, but it costs more. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to put it in C because it pisses me off that they try to act like it's the this premium beer. The last time I tried beer. to drink Stella, it's, I was high as fuck in the, in the hotel when you were doing Radcon 3. Uh-huh. And I didn't have a bottle opener, oh, and yeah. I cut my fucking hand open trying to open it. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> um, Stella, Bad time. Stella, yeah, it just it used to be one that I liked a lot, but the more I've had beers that are better and not even as expensive, the more I've been like, there's no way to justify the cost of Stella Artois. Uh, Sing Tao kind of sucks. I would put it at a D. Um, All right. White, White Claw, Claw hard seltzer. This is your I personally I, I think these hard seltzers are disgusting, but okay, they are not beer. No. If you drink one of these and are expecting a beer. Then you will have a bad time. These are seltzers. Yes. They are. They're just. It's like drinking ginger ale with a little bit of alcohol. I would describe in it. it as like when you when you get a soda and it's mostly just the carbonated water and not enough of the mm-hmm. syrup, which is makes me want to vomit even thinking about. All right. The thing about this is it's only a hundred calories a pop. They do not make you feel like you're drinking anything that'll make you sick. It's not too sugary. Um, I end up drinking these a lot because I've been kind of, like, watching my weight and, you know, it's very, it's easy to drink. You can find them anywhere. Um, I've been, recently I've been seeing lots of fucking white bitches drinking this. Yeah. So, I know it's, like, catching on in popularity, uh, with the amount that I drink it, I would probably have to, like, at least give it a C. Okay. I thought you were going to give it, like, an S or something. Like, you were building it no, up. No, I like it. I, yeah, you know, I it's just, it's, it's not a beer. And I would it's, definitely like, give I'd it rather a... have a beer over it. Like, it makes me a little sad when I drink it. It's like, oh, yeah. my God, I wish this was a blue moon. <laughs> I would definitely give it an F because I hate the seltzers, all the ones i I like tried. it better than any of the other sweet drinks on this list. I like it way yeah. the hell better than fucking Lime Maritas. If you're drinking Lime Maritas, switch to White Claw because it has, like, a 7% alcohol, like, no calories, super easy to drink. If you don't really like the taste of beer and you just, like, kind of want to get drunk or you're kind of afraid of alcohol, try some White Claw. It's pretty good. I, I don't think I've ever had... the best. <laughs> I don't think I've had Yanjing beer. Have you? No, no idea. Um, Our landlady Yingling the beer. is fine. I put it at C tier. Me too. It's a C tier. Um, from what I understand, according to Fern, uh, in, in Pennsylvania, it is better. Because, like, I guess somehow in in its transportation, it loses some of its flavor, according to her. No no ability to confirm. Um, Last is Zima. 
Um, you ever had Zima? Uh, actually, I think I have. It didn't really stand out. I'd probably give it a D. All right. There you go. There's our beer chart. Nothing on here was S tier worthy. If we had maybe some three philosophers or some fucking, I would even probably have put Golden Monkey at like an A or an S. I uh, know y'all fucking have Golden Monkey because that shit's everywhere. Um, Indeed. Uh, what are some S tier? Allagash. Allagash. Allagash could sure definitely have some of their some of their flavors could definitely crack S. Um, if they're on tap, they're definitely the best on tap beers. Allagash White. Um, what is something that you would put in S tier as a beer? Can you think of a... I mean, uh, Takati would have been... I would have had to. Yeah, I mean, like, for branded, like, really common beers, I'm probably not going to have a lot of things that I'd consider S tier. I'm not even talking about common. Just any beer. Yeah, I'm having difficulty because, like, every time I've been going out lately, it's like I just get an IPA that's on tap and I fucking forget about it the moment I've had it. Yeah. But, like, I've had some that are fucking great. Like, I mean, even some of the... like. The one we've got in our fridge right now is really good. Like, we've been drinking a lot of really good local Virginia beers, and, like... um, What's the best one we've had so far? I mean, we've only had, like, three, but I I really like the one that's in there. Um, What the fuck is it called? It's, like, Virginia something. That's the thing. Like, I I tend to get a lot of different beers, because I'm... It's, like... If I'm in a situation where the only choices are, like, the ones that are on this chart... um, I'm always just going to go for one of the best ones. So it's always going to be either Blue Moon or Takati, if they have it. Um, Blue Moon's a lot more common. Or, like, maybe... I'm kind of done with Stella. I used to get that. Like, maybe maybe a Modelo. Um, although, m- regular Modelo, which was not even listed on here, is definitely not as good as Negra. So, like... Basically, anything that's in the A or B category on this list is something I might go for if I was at just the store. Mm -hmm. But, like, if I'm going to a craft beer store, I'm pretty much going to get something different every time. And I don't take good mental notes of it. It's, like, kind of a know-it-when-you-see-it thing. So, but, like, again, if Takati was here, it would be at least an A. If if, If Three Philosophers was here, I might give it an S. If Gold Monkey was here, I'd give it an A or an S. Like, those are common beers. Are there any here that you want to try? Like, do you want to try Goose Island or. um, Oh, I mean, if I saw any of these, I might try them, but, like, I've. uh, Most of them I've just never seen before. Yeah. So, uh. But in, like, some of them, like, Founders All Day IPA, it's like, well, Founders has a bunch of beers. I'm probably not going to choose their IPA. I'm definitely not going to have natural light. No, natter days not even gonna ever. try the natter days. I'm way too old for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, overall though, I appreciate the effort because all the other beer charts on the site were literally like dog shit. So uh, at least this one had some effort put in. What's the worst one that we we have on here? The worst. Um, I'm gonna say Keystone Light. I don't think I've really had Keystone Light. Uh, the worst beer is probably Foster's. Well, Modelo Chilada, but that's because I think that shit's fucking gross. Um, Red's Apple Ale, though, is also really fucking shitty. Um, yeah. There All you right. have it. Well, that's our beer.